so as we have discussed that there are there can be two kind of cloud infrastructure that is public or private <clears throat> let me give you a very practical comparison between both of them a public cloud is like renting a flat in a society so as you see here this is a uh, fully operating uh, society residential society which has all the amenities that means it has uh, it has all the flats in which people live and it will have other other amenities also like uh, rec recreation area uh, morning uh, jogging walk park and jogging track swimming pools clubhouse parking spaces everything that you can think of so renting a flat in this society is like uh, renting an infrastructure from the public cloud wherein you enjoy the hassle free services and pay for it so whatever service you need you have it you just have to pay for it and this is being managed by someone else so just like your public cloud platforms are being managed by the hyperscaler companies that means either microsoft or amazon or google you do not have to manage the infrastructure you do not have to worry about the outage times about the power consumption or anything okay you just have to host your application there but this can be a costly affair in the long run let's say uh, you you keep paying the rent for for 10 years straight or five years down the line and you might not have that much usage of all the facilities that are present there okay so aws azure and gcp falls under this category in which services their their services are used by many organizations across the industries okay and this is being used by organizations who have a, a, a software based product but they do not want to establish their own infrastructure for any reason now comes the private side of the cloud infrastructure a private cloud infrastructure is like building your own bungalow wherein you manage the bungalow by yourself so here you uh, you you buy the construction material you uh, hire an architect you hire a civil engineer okay they make the plans you build the you build the bungalow and you put your own money for one time uh, in building this and then you manage it by yourself also so you build it by yourself you manage it by yourself this is a one time investment and lifetime usage okay so once you have invested into this home then you can use it for for its lifetime right obviously there is a minor maintenance uh, involved but that maintenance uh, is not uh, like a huge maintenance which you can pay as a rent here okay so this is a one time investment and this can give you big savings in long term because once you have made this house now you do not have to pay any rent anywhere right and you can make customizations inside the same house as and when required uh, with a little amount of money so any private data center uh, used by banks government agencies telecom operators it firms etc can come under this category wherein they build their own infrastructure and they use it so both have their own advantages and disadvantages both have their own merits and demerits as you can see depending on your requirement if your application is a huge application which involves huge workloads like telecom operators like government agencies and uh, you have compliance issues you have security concerns you do not want to host your data into some other uh, cloud infrastructure or some other country or some other company then you have to build your own private cloud infrastructure okay your own data center so much has been talked about cloud computing and telco cloud and concepts now let's talk about the skills required in this area